Phantom Farms is in sunny southern Oregon. From a distance, it looks just like an orchard. It's got greenhouses and neat rows of small green trees. But look a little closer. These aren't trees. They're really large plants. Marijuana plants. In Oregon, growing cannabis has been legal for 20 years. At first, that meant growing plants for medical marijuana patients. Eddie Funtanellis started Phantom Farms in 2008. Before that, he taught himself how to grow cannabis with a little trial and error. I really had no clue what I was doing. I started growing plants when I was 12, and my grandma used to grow roses, and she had like bags of blood meal and bone meal laying around, and I just threw it in, in these pots. Didn't really know exactly what it was going to do, but it actually turned out good. Oregon legalized recreational marijuana in 2015. At the farm, Fontanellis now has employees like Connor Lucky to help him raise plants. Right, so I mean, being in Southern Oregon, yes, we have beautiful summers and we have, usually we have great falls when it comes to, you know, it's a great climate to be growing cannabis, but at the same time, we get early rains. A wet spring can bring pests, insects, and mildew that can damage the plants. But Fontanellis and Lucky plan ahead by spraying plants with essential oils that repel pests. We use cayenne, we use lemon, we use all sorts of just... Cinnamon. You know, cinnamon is a good one, yeah, exactly. Peppermint. So things that just naturally are already doing the, the pest deterrent, and then we, we try to coat the leaves with that essential oil to prevent any further development of the bad bugs. Another way to prevent pest damage is just to grow healthy plants by feeding them all the nutrients they need. Well, the thing is, too, with the marijuana plant when it when it gets sick it puts out hormones and it attracts pests so an important source of nutrients on the farm is other plants that's where the dynamic accumulators come in dynamic accumulators are plants that are accumulating micro and macronutrients down near the root zone at the end of its life if you chop the plant above the ground the roots will then spit out all the remaining good nutrients that it needs to restart and reshoot new growth Fontanellis also makes sure there are plenty of creatures on the farm ready to eat any bad bugs that show up to add to the hungry menagerie, he buys and releases predatory insects like pirate bugs and bright orange predatory mites called persimiles. Um, yeah, those ones are pretty cool too. They're orange. Yeah, they're orange. And you can see them when the bottle, and then when you release them, they just they're like barbarians. They're starving. They're, yeah. And you can just see them run on the plant. Yeah. It's crazy. And they, cool. their a whole goal is just to eat the other mites and eggs. A lot of what we do at Phantom to keep it closed loop. We do everything we can to keep everything as organic as possible. The way we're growing is the way we want to see ag in the future. 